Hazekuchen, and Cheesecake. Different language, same name. Deceptively similar, yet totally different. Germany or America, who makes the better pie? Or cake? Pie? Cheesecake. Just who makes the better cheesecake? Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie. And I'm Aubrey. And we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. Cheesecake is known around the world and has been for centuries. The Greeks had a version, the Romans had a version, and it seems like every culture in the world has developed their own take on this dessert. Through our travels around the world, we have quickly learned that some places are playing fast and loose with the term cheesecake, at least in terms of what we are used to and it being and meaning. But Germany's version is deceptively similar to American cheesecake. So deceptively similar that in one of our latest videos, we mentioned how the key ingredient to German cheesecake, known as quark, is unheard of in the US and all of our German viewers freaked out wondering how the heck cheesecake is made in the US without the foundational element. In return, we were confused because we assumed cheesecake containing quark might just be a unique unique take on cheesecake, and we were shocked to learn that this is cheesecake in Germany. Both countries have an infatuation with cheesecake, but apparently we both have completely different concepts of what it actually is. So of course, now we need to know, who makes the superior cheesecake? And that is exactly what we are going to talk about today in our video, Käsekuchen versus cheesecake. Which one should you bake? And is it a cake or is it a pie? Overall, the main differences between a German and American cheesecake will be the texture and density because of the dairy products used in the filling, and they will typically have completely different types of crusts. As we have mentioned, there are all sorts of varieties of cheesecakes in the world, but even within Germany and the US, there are countless varieties and debated techniques to make the best cheesy dessert. For this, we just wanted to test the basic vanilla cheesecakes that have nothing else added to them, like additional flavors or toppings, to ensure a fair comparison for both countries. We also tried to find the most popular recipes online with the most positive comments and highest ratings to ensure we gave them both the best shot. So these recipes may not be exactly what you make, and you may even think there are better ways of eating cheesecake. Let us know in the comments what your favorite type of cheesecake is and which toppings you enjoy the best in the comments below. We are going to kick it all off with the American style cheesecake, or more specifically, the most famous style, New York style cheesecake. In terms of cheesecake history, this specific derivative is only about 100 years old and was invented by Arnold Rubin, owner of Rubin's Restaurant and Delicatessen and the Turf Restaurant. Today, Junior's in New York City is the place to get cheesecake. After finding the YouTube channel, My Name is Andong, and watching Andong's video trying to find the best cheesecake in the world, go check out and subscribe to his channel, by the way. He led us onto what seemed to be one of the most popular recipes online that was created by the YouTube channel Tasty. Also go check out and subscribe to their channel. While you're checking out and subscribing to their channels, it would be awesome if you helped us out by hitting that like and subscribe button for us as well. This recipe starts out with one thing that is quite unique to American cheesecakes, and that is a graham cracker crust. American cheesecakes can also have a sponge crust or a buttery crust, but this is the most popular way to go. Sometimes these crusts are just on the bottom as a base, sometimes they come a little bit up on the sides, or sometimes all the way fully surrounding the cheesecake. You can even have a crustless cheesecake, but honestly, I don't know if we've ever personally seen one of those, and we just went with what we saw in Tasty's video. One unfortunate thing for our German viewers is that real American graham crackers are really, really hard to come by in Germany. However, if you want to give this a try, you can substitute Leibniz full corn crackers and achieve a similar result. So the big question we kept getting on our previous video, if you don't use quark, then how do you make cheesecake? 
And that answer mainly is cream cheese. In the US, we just simply say cream cheese, but that almost always means Philadelphia cream cheese, just like you find in Germany. The only difference being in the US, we are used to buying them in blocks and wrapped in packaging like butter, whereas we mainly find them in tubs in Germany. Another hotly debated topic in the cheesecake world that we were not aware of before this video is whether or not to use sour cream in American cheesecakes. At Junior's, the place to get cheesecake in New York City, apparently they are strongly opposed to using sour cream, but many recipes online do call for some sour cream like ours did, so that is what we went with. Overall, because of the dairy products used in American cheesecakes, they tend to be much more dense, rich, creamy, and smoother than German cheesecakes. Once we have all of that mixed up and ready to go, it is poured into our baked graham cracker crust. We then move on to baking the cheesecake, which requires another fairly unique step to New York style cheesecake. New York style cheesecakes employ a water bath that produces steam inside the normally dry oven to create a moist environment for it to bake in so that it keeps the cheesecake at an even low heat and it also protects it from drying out and cracking. The spring form pan is wrapped in foil just to ensure that water does not seep in into our pan at the cracks from the water bath it is put in. After an hour of baking and another hour sitting in the oven turned off, the cheesecake is cooled and allowed to rest overnight before enjoying. Real quick, we need to point out that we are not bakers ourselves, but we just know we love cheesecake. So when it comes to the finer details of baking, we could certainly use some pointers. And lucky for us, there is an awesome online learning community that can do just that called Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know what Skillshare is already, Skillshare offers thousands of online inspiring classes for you lifelong learners, hobbyists, or working creatives. Skillshare has classes on anything like baking cheesecakes for beginners beginners, productivity, marketing, video editing, and so much more. I have been checking out the class DIY Filmmaking, creating pro video with tools you already own by Mark Sersosimo to find ways we can improve our video production without breaking the bank. Skillshare's classes are offered at any skill level, are ad-free, and they are always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 people to use the link in our description will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. Even without this deal, Skillshare is less than $10 per month with an annual subscription. Where the oldest person alive, Kane Tanaka, could potentially remember a sad 15 years or more of life in which New York style cheesecake didn't exist in this world, someone would have to be about 400 years old to remember a time without German Käsekuchen. It has a murky history, but it has been around since the 1600s. In German, Käse is the word for cheese and Kuchen is the word for cake. So Käsekuchen translates literally to cheesecake. Online, we couldn't find one single place that is considered the place to get cheesecake in Germany. This may be due to the fact that it is so old and so many omas are so great at baking it, but we did find where the German TV channel Pro Sieben put New York's juniors head to head against Quiddlingberg's Cafe Vincent as Germany's best cheesecake. If you know of a place that is a must try for German cheesecake, let us know in the comments so we can check it out. For our German style cheesecake, we immediately start with a completely different crust. It is pretty common for German cheesecakes to have a simple shortbread style crust. It takes a little more work to make than a graham cracker crust, but the principle ends up being the same where you place it inside your spring form pan and can just be used on the bottom or all the way up the sides of your cheesecake. Just like with American cheesecakes, you sometimes will have cheesecake served on a Boden or without a crust completely. When it comes to the filling of the cheesecake, we have already mentioned the most unique aspect, of course, is cork. Cork is a dairy product made from fermenting soured milk and technically is a cheese. When describing it to Americans who have never seen it, it is somewhere between yogurt and cream cheese, but not totally either one, and is eaten in many various ways, like spread on bread with jam for breakfast, over a baked potato, or of course can even be baked into a cheesecake. It is much lower in fat than cream cheese, so already you can feel better about eating the cheesecake and classify it as healthy compared to its American cousin. The recipe we are using comes from 
from an older video from the channel Sally's Welt, and in it she says she uses as little sugar as possible and cut the sugar by 25 grams for this recipe, but normally for American recipes, she cuts the sugar amount by half or more. German cheesecakes are normally regarded as less sweet than American cheesecakes, but between the crust and the filling, this recipe has roughly 56 grams of sugar less than the American recipe after she suggested to cut 25 grams from the original recipe. So it'll be interesting to see just how much sweeter the American version tastes than this one. German cheesecake is also generally regarded as lighter, fluffier, and airier than American cheesecakes, yet still very creamy. Once everything is mixed, it is poured into the crust, and unlike the American cheesecake, it is set directly in the oven without a water bath. About 30 minutes after throwing it in, we take it out and cut a ring around the top of the cheesecake before putting it back in the oven to break the surface tension. Just like the water bath keeps the American cheesecake from cracking, this is supposed to help keep the German cheesecake from cracking. A Apparently, another similarity between the two countries is our over-concern for cracking and cheesecake. So, we have our two cheesecakes prepared, and now comes the most important and best part, the actual taste test, and finally determining a true cheesecake champion. Well, at least between these two countries. So to start our taste test, we are gonna start with our German cheesecake. This is something that we have definitely had before in different bakeries and things, um, but we really don't remember too much, but it came out really good. It's really tall. It looks really fluffy and airy. I do think we left it in a little bit too long because the top got really dark, but it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like it's super dried out, so it looks very moist. Mm. Mm. That's good. Yeah, it's really, really good. But I do feel like it's a little bit dry for my taste. That's something I've always felt about German cheesecake whenever I've had them, is it sometimes feels a little like chalky to me a little yeah. bit mm, because it's not just completely just creamy that I feel like I'm used to with American ones. The flavors are really good. Yeah. I really like the crust. Yeah, the crust turned out really pretty too. What do you think about the sweetness? I mean, it's not too sweet. It'd be I think it's a good amount of sweet. Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not like sicky sweet. No. But I'll say like, I also really like things generally really sicky sweet. So for me, that doesn't taste like crazy sweet, but maybe for someone else it could be. Yeah, I'll say the texture is good. Mm -hmm. A little bit chalky, a little bit, I don't know. Not as, not as creamy as I would like, but the flavors are really, really good. And the crust is really good. Mm -hmm. I like that shortbread kind of crust. So now let's move on to the American style cheesecake. The American style one was not as tall, but it definitely looks a lot creamier than the other one. And uh, we did end up getting a little bit of cracking on the top of ours, but that was mainly just because I put some foil on to try to protect the top because it was browning kind of quickly. But let's go ahead and get in here and just see. The crust also fell off on us. Uh, whenever we were cutting our slice, the crust seemed a little bit moist and mm -hmm. sticky. And so we kind of lost it. So that's what that big clump is right there. That's supposed to be our baked crust. Okay, let's just give this a shot. A lot sweeter. Mm, that consistency is good though. It's a huge difference wow. when it comes to consistency. The American one mm. definitely is more dense and a lot more creamy. I can taste the cream cheese too, I think more than I realize. Mm -hmm. It is a little more sweet. Mm -hmm. Let me get a little bit of crust in that too. It almost like glues your mouth shut. Cause it's <laughs> but so in a good creamy. Way. <laughs> but I also like, it, it's a little more sugary, but I wouldn't say like overly like more sugary than that one. Not like, Definitely. A ton more sugary. I think it tastes a lot more sweet. Like I still taste the sweet <laughs> really? in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I think it mostly is the consistency that's just totally mm -hmm. different for me. And the flavors are really good. I think for me, the American is still the champion. I do think I personally like the crust better on a German one. I like that flaky crust and I like because that stayed a little bit thicker. But the American one definitely is just so much more creamy. I like the texture a lot better. I like the sugariness a lot better. The flavor of the cream cheese. The German one is good. You can't go wrong with a German. I think our German crust turned out prettier so it gets some style points but yeah i think the taste of the american cheesecake 
is better. I like the consistency, but I like this. Maybe the sweetness of the German one would be good if you're not wanting something too sweet. Like I still have some lingering sugar taste in my mouth from the American one. Maybe I'd cut the sugar a little bit of the American one, meet in the middle somewhere. I think for me, the, the perfect cheesecake would probably be that buttery crust from the German one. Cut the sugar just a touch on the American, but the cream cheese over the quark every day. There you have it. I think the American cheesecake edges it out. So there you have it guys. In most of our videos, we enjoy finding the things that make our cultures unique, but do not always have a right way or a wrong way. Most of the differences we find are just simply different perspectives on the world to be appreciated and learn from. However, when it comes to cheesecake, although you can't really go too wrong, we have to say that the American cheesecake has it right in our opinion. If you want to do this taste test yourselves, we will have the recipes we followed linked in the description below. Be sure to let us know your thoughts if you have had both of these styles and which one you prefer, or if you prefer a different type, style, or flavor, leave those in the comments as well. To see who made it this far in the video, leave in the comments what hands down is your favorite dessert of all time. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in our next video. Cheers. Should we go share some with our neighbors? What? No, I want all this for ourselves. Be sure to hit, no, oh, be sure to let us know your, th be sure to let us know your thoughts if you have had, be sure to let us know your thoughts if you have had, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video. Basic vanilla cheesecake that has nothing else added to them. Cheesecakes.